Hey guys, Thunderbro here. Today I'm bringing you more Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.9.0 news. Can we try getting at least 250 likes on this video? If we can, that would be awesome. Just throwing it back uh, quite a few weeks, someone asked Jeb if Strongholds will be in 0.9.0. And Jeb says that yes, that is the plan, but caves and similar structures are pretty hard on the game, so it might be a little difficult. However, since this tweet was made, the developers have um, optimized infinite worlds and caves and those structures, so um, mine shafts should be pretty easy to implement and they will probably be in 0.9.0. Bringing this up to some more current news, today Jeb tweeted out saying that he will finally begin porting the Stronghold code to Pocket Edition. Strongholds. Yes, that's right, Strongholds. The one generated structure that everybody has been wanting so bad. Strongholds are finally being added to 0.9.0 and they're being ported from PC, so they're going to look exactly the same, which is really awesome and it's just amazing that they're going to be adding this into the game. However, he did say that Strongholds will be much harder to find. This is because the Eye of Ender isn't being added, which means Ender Pearls aren't being added, most likely. Um, the Eye of Ender, for you guys who don't know, is this pearl item that you throw in the air, and basically it points you in the direction of the stronghold, and you keep throwing it until it leads you to the stronghold entrance. Basically, Eyes of Ender aren't being added for whatever reason, so strongholds are going to be really hard to find. While we're on the topic of Eyes of Ender, uh, someone wanted to know about ender chests because they'd be really useful for infinite worlds. However, because of the absence of eyes of ender, which are needed to craft the ender chest, they will not be added into the game in 0.9.0. Going back on the topic of strongholds, Jeb said something that really came as a complete shock to the community. Someone had obviously not understood that there will be, quote, infinite worlds in 0.9.0, and he said the world's going to be really small, so strongholds should be easy to find. And Jeb says, in 0.9.0, worlds will not be small, they will be much larger, but not infinite. Which is something that really came as a surprise to people, because they thought that you can go on endlessly without ever stopping. However, there are limitations. Uh, there's the phone's processor power, which is something we all have to keep in mind. And there's also limitations with the code, which also has its limits. However, this next thing came as a complete shocker to a lot of people. Kind of building off of what Jeb had already started saying, someone had responded saying that there's no real true infinite world because even on PC, the terrain does eventually end. And will the terrain be something similar to that? And Jeb responds saying that he doesn't have exact numbers, but approximate world size on the PC is about 60 million blocks, because it's negative 30 million to 30 million, which the absolute value of that is uh, 60. So there's approximately 60 million by 60 million block sized worlds. However, on Pocket Edition, it's going to be a lot smaller only about 10,000 by 10,000 blocks. This is not infinite. It came as a complete shock to people that the developers were all saying, oh, the worlds are going to be massive now. Well, don't get me wrong, 10,000 by 10,000 is pretty, pretty big, and it's going to offer a lot of space for exploration. But, I mean, in all seriousness, they said how the worlds would be so big. Um, well, 10,000 by 10,000 really isn't truly infinite. It's 10,000 by 10,000. It's no bigger than an Xbox world, which is currently like 5,000 by 5,000. And again, 10,000 by 10,000 size worlds are pretty big, but a lot of people thought that infinite worlds, or quote infinite worlds, would be a lot larger than 10,000 by 10,000. I was expecting something around 100 by 100,000, but that's obviously not happening. So, world sizes are actually going to be a lot smaller than what people had originally thought. 
So, that's a little unfortunate, but again, it has to do with the processor power on the phone and how much the phone can actually handle. And remember, Mojang does not like dropping low-powered devices, so they're only doing this to cater to the people that have a really slow old device. So if they dropped support for that, yeah, I'm pretty sure they could do something that's 100,000 by 100,000, maybe even more, because most phones can handle something like that. But 10,000 by 10,000 is the new world limit. Now, Tom once mentioned something about a far biome on Reddit, and this far biome was mentioned again in the developer conference that they had uh, going back about a month but no one really knows what the far biome is and he's still testing it out so we really don't know what the far biome will have however this new far biome will be at the edge of all infinite worlds so that's at least one thing that we can look forward to out of this aside from strongholds and mine chats so I guess this is the end of the video, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, favorite, comment below your thoughts, subscribe for more Pocket Edition news stuff, let's try getting 100, uh, not 100, 250 likes on this video, if we can do it, it'd be awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.